is no secret, but ticks are a big problem in Pennsylvania. Ticks are most commonly, of course, associated with the spread of Lyme disease. But the infection which ticks can cause goes deeper than that. And 2822 Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here to explain. Mark? Yes, Candace and Nick's ticks are also to blame for a virus that even though rare is affecting a growing number of Americans. Among them, a young boy from Harvey's Lake, Luzerne County, who's on the road to recovery weeks after a tick bit him. Hey, it's just me. Hey, John. Pediatric intensive care is the last place Jamie Simonson expected her three-year-old son, Jonathan, to be this summer. But it's where he ended up after being bitten by a tick. It came on all of a sudden. Uh, he was fine jumping in the pool, eating ice cream, and the next day he started complaining about a headache. Tests determined the tick that bit Jonathan outside his home in late June transmitted the very rare Powassan virus, which then triggered meningoencephalitis, an inflammation or infection of the brain, as well as the meninges, which are the layers of thin tissue covering the brain. He had every test under the sun, CT scan, MRI, uh, before we really found out what was happening. Uh, were you worried you might not see your boy again, leave the hospital? We were terrified. <laughs> Jonathan spent nearly two weeks in the hospital recovering, but still exhibiting the lingering effects of Powassan virus. He came home not able to walk on his own. Thanks to therapy, he's overcome that, although still faces recovery hurdles. Right now we see some clear left side weaknesses uh, when it comes to his leg and his arm. Um, cognitively, he's just not where he was before. But where he is now is something Jonathan's mother could only hope for weeks earlier. Terribly scary um, and we are just incredibly fortunate. After the turmoil her family has experienced, Simonson is now advocating for all parents to pay extra attention to check their children for ticks. This one was incredibly tiny. It was right on his back shoulder blade. Um, and what's most important, it was not embedded. It was not engorged. Uh, what they said is that it maybe had to be attached for 15 minutes. That's the actual tick that bit Jonathan we just showed you there. It's uncertain if he's going to make a full recovery, although his mom says so far progress is very encouraging, and she says he will be able to return to daycare in August or September. In the meantime, head to pahomepage.com to learn more about Powassan virus and tick safety.